Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a good day. Um, today's episode, we're going to be checking out if uh, the new tires will fit on the truck with no lift kit. And then, uh, well, we're going to put the lift kit in anyways because we already got it. We got it used from my buddy who I actually bought the truck from. We just got back from the tire shop, got the new tires all mounted. For the tires, for this truck, we used where we bought um, some Maxxis Razor MTs, 35 by 12 and a half. Let's see if these uh, actually have a chance at fitting no lift in some friggin' sagged out springs. I just don't really feel like doing the lift kit today. I just wanna see if they even fit the way it is now. We'll throw those on. Well, there we have it. They're on. Uh, I really don't know what to tell you, but uh, the way she goes right now, we don't got a whole lot of extra room in here. Like, there's obviously no lift in it yet, so that'll that'll help. But like, even to the frame and the leaves and all that in the back, we're pretty tight.
And just like that, the lift is in. It's uh, quite a bit higher. Um, I didn't show you the whole process because, uh, well, as you can imagine, the 1981 wasn't very fun to pull all the bushings out in the rear leaves and all that, but I'd say we definitely got a lot more clearance. I'm still gonna cut this bottom of the fender off here and cut some of the rocker back because no matter what, as soon as we articulate this any amount, it's gonna jam right into the bottom of the body, so might as well just fix it before we wreck it because good luck finding replacement body panels to this, but I'd say she's uh, definitely a lot more meaty than it used to be. I'm really digging it. Sorry if it's, you're getting a bunch of uh, fan noise. It's plus 34 out or something Celsius here. So it's hot. It's really hot. But yes, we're digging it. Definitely a lot more clearance underneath than what we had before. But we're also probably sitting about six inches higher because this, at least because those factory front springs were worn right out to almost nothing when they're inverted I'd say it's time for a change but uh, yeah we just got the back shocks to do yet um, but I'm probably gonna have to put some new studs or something on the frame because I don't know I'm guessing the bolt broke off inside of those other ones so uh, back shocks yet I'll I'll end up rebuilding the axles and re-gearing them and all that at a later date I just want to get the lift in at least to see how it all sat but yeah overall pretty happy with the outcome here um thanks for watching guys uh hope you liked the video please like it and uh subscribe to the channel thanks have a good day